What if I told you the Lakers are ready to shake things up in a big way? With the front office signaling that they are open to trading both first-round picks, the anticipation is building. This could be the moment we've all been waiting for, an opportunity to bring in a game-changing talent to help LeBron and AD clinch that elusive title. Keep watching as we break down the implications of this potential trade. Make sure to subscribe and like the video to stay in the loop with everything Lakers. Lakers fans, we need to talk about the latest buzz surrounding our team, and let me tell you, there's a lot of optimism in the air. Rob Palinka has come out and made it clear that he's willing to trade our draft picks for the right star. This is huge. Palinka stated, we want to build sustainable Lakers excellence. And you know what? That's music to my ears. After missing out on some big-name free agents last summer, like Clay Thompson and Paul George, it seems like the Lakers are ready to make some serious moves. The organization has a history of making bold trades, and with LeBron James and Anthony Davis still in their prime, the time is now. I can't help but feel that we're on the brink of something special. The question is, who do we target? Imagine adding a star player who can take us over the top. It's what we need to help our superstars chase that elusive championship. But then again, this is a gamble, and I'm torn. Is trading away those picks worth the risk? It could either be a masterstroke or a colossal mistake. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Switching gears, let's talk about Chris Middleton's injury. Milwaukee Bucks insider Chris Haynes reported that Middleton hasn't been cleared for 5-on-5 five -five play yet but he's progressing nicely after undergoing arthroscopic surgery on both ankles. Look, as a Lakers fan, I can't help but keep an eye on our competition. Middleton has been a key player for the Bucks, averaging 15.1 points, 5.3 assists, and 4.7 rebounds last season. If he comes back healthy, that could elevate the Bucks' chances against us. It's crucial for our team to stay ahead of the competition, and Middleton's health is something we should monitor closely. Now, let's shift to some good news from New Orleans. The Pelicans have re-signed Jose Alvarado to a two-year, $9 million deal. Alvarado has proven to be a valuable role player with his tenacity on defense and his surprising three-point shooting. Last season, he averaged 7.1 points and shot an impressive 37.7% from beyond the arc. With the Pelicans acquiring DeJount Murray, Alvarado is likely to be a key player off the bench. As Lakers fans, we need to recognize the depth the Pelicans are building. It could make our path to the playoffs a bit more challenging. So, circling back to the Lakers, what do you think about Palinka's willingness to trade our draft picks? I'm personally excited but cautious. The stakes are high, and we need to make the right call to secure our future. I want to hear from you. Are we ready to give up our future for a shot at a star? Or should we hold tight and build organically? Every decision we make now has the potential to shape the Lakers' destiny. The championship window is still open, but we need to act wisely. The pressure is on, and I can feel the anticipation building as the season approaches. Are you feeling it too? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. What are your expectations for this upcoming season? Do you think we'll see a blockbuster trade before the deadline? Or will Palinka play it safe? I genuinely want to know your opinions, frustrations, and hopes for the team. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with fellow Lakers fans, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates. You don't want to miss anything as we gear up for what promises to be an exciting season. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you're always in the loop. Let's go, Lakers!